it's Elizabeth from Nell Elements, and today I am bringing you this blue, gold, dark blue, turquoise, aqua, whatever color you want to call it, um, glitter, rhinestones, nudes, did I already said nudes? I don't know, but the point is, is I combined it, all of those things into a design, so yeah, let's take a peek at the reveal shots, shall we? So first I had prepped and um, cleansed the nail and dehydrated before this, but I'm going to be going in with the Young Nails Protein Bond. I do about two coats, um, but I let the first one dry before I do the second one. And I let that dry before applying application. Okay, so what is this, just so they know? Oh, uh, this is the pra- the pra- <laughs> This is a primer. It's Young Nail Protein Bond. It's really good stuff. It helps with everything. So if you're having issues with like lifting or, uh, well I'm talking about like nail techs. If you're having issues with nails falling off or lifting problems, just you buy some Protein Bond. I'll link the website down below. Conversion Base Coat. It's um, really thick so it works really great for slip pour or any dipping powder or acrylic powder you have. Pour. Make sure you put in a downward motion. <laughs> I'm not funny. <laughs> I'm not funny. Laughs at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta sweep it. You gotta sweep it. it has glitter in it. Oh, okay. There's a freaking dent in that one, too. <laughs> Alright, so next I go in with the second coat of the conversion base and then I will pour. Such a pretty nude. Oh, yeah, it's covered pink. I'm taking the Young Nails conversion base and I will be doing swirls. So I'll be going from one end of the nail to the other end of the nail and that will kind of make my swirl trail. Go, which way is the other way? The other one? This one's going this way so that one needs to go this way. What? I'll just... Okay. Oh, okay, I was going to go that way anyway. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? So this is Slick Pour in the color Vintage Convertible. Are you gonna do the thing where you Why like is it? The... Oh no, it's in the cover Clever. I swear that was, this was Vintage co Convertible. Mm -hmm. Okay, Clever, I guess. I don't know, thought it was Vintage Convertible, but still it's a pretty color. And then the Mia Secret Blueberry. I'm not a fan of the Mia Secret colors. They're okay for a start for beginners, but if you want like professional salon based, like a colored acrylic, get the slick pour because you can use it with a monomer and this is just like a paint on color basically okay do we want well do we want more of the this color this time mm -hmm. yeah because i that that blue just really ate through it wait we did this do the, last time we need to do this one first yeah. so i'm going to be taking the color blueberry it's me a secret blueberry and I'm just going to lightly sprinkle over the base coat put down and it should stick. The last hand we did, we tried to do um, the clever color first and the darker blue just kind of soaked it up and it did not show the turquoise very great. So that's why we're doing it this other way around to see how it turns out. 
Next, I'm going to be going in with Clever, and I'm going to sprinkle that over the top on all of the nails. Okay, check it out and see if you like it. Yeah. Better? Yes. Tons better. Okay. Um, nuke it, and I'll do your thumb. I shall sweep. Sweeping is my favorite. Ooh! Ooh, holy heck! I like this better. Oh, thanks! You did really well on the other hand. I just think that this idea was really clever. Just to be fair, the other hand is always the weird one when you're trying yeah. to do the rhyme and then you get the hang of it. Freaking look how pretty that is, guys. All right, so now I'm just going in to do the thumb. And the big mistake I did here was I did it a little too thick and it kind of pulled it, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> that's... I'm try not to do that next time. But you just pour it and the gel will soak in the acrylic powder or dipping powder, whichever one you want to use. Uh oh. <laughs> um I'll get it eventually. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Over I it. give up! What if I just Okay, go oh, ahead and try it, but it ain't gonna promise anything. So, oh, it works! Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> Alright, nuke it. Cool. So what glitters and flakes does that have today? Hmm? What brand? This is AliExpress. <laughs> Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree, yeah! <laughs> AliExpress. <laughs> Dollar Tree glitters are freaking fantastic. And the, the containers are also from Dollar Tree. And this is from Amazon. I'll try to make it professional as possible, I swear. <laughs> okay, so we need to do glitter. Right. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. <laughs> I'm judging us. <laughs> she's not professional when she's here. Yeah, no, there is no way. Any other time, she's great, but um, I'm just a terrible client, and I've known her forever, and I'm also a very bad, um, what is it called? Like, bad influence. Yeah, there. So now I'm just going to go in with the Caption Conversion Base Gel and I'm just basically putting down a sticky layer for the glitter and the rhinestones and the flakes to adhere to. <laughs> if anyone watches this, they're going to be like, that. <laughs> like unsubscribe. <laughs> We're just going to do a dislike on that. Thumbs down. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> just like the dipping powder, I'm basically just sprinkling it around where I put the, co the conversion base. So now I'm just going to be sweeping off the excess glitter that is hanging out still. That way, you know, we don't get any flakies up in our brush. You know what I mean? And I mean like the gel brush. Um, I noticed that there was way too much glitter, so I just kind of took a file and lightly went over the glitter pieces so I can kind of thin it out, if that makes sense. Um, and now I took a really fine dyeing tool, dyeing, <laughs> dotting tool, and I just went and got a, did a little line in the middle of the blue there. That way we can do our glitter pieces and it'll catch to that, if that makes sense. Now I did the same thing with the dotting tool, but on the opposite sides of that glitter. That way the, we can pour the light blue glitter on the sides of it, and then the gold glitter will be in the middle of it. It's kind of hard to explain without seeing it. Um, and I have a really bad camera angle right here where you guys can't see everything's really great. I'm going to try to mess with the camera angle a little more, I promise. <laughs> yes. And these are just from uh, Amazon, like I said. I'll link them in the description or the nail box. I'm gonna call it the nail box. Yeah. Yeah. And the nail box, yes. Okay, so she's gonna use the drill just to like easy, easily get that off. Try. More or less. <laughs> also, this is not actually like drilling any of my nail off. It's just kind of flaking off some of the glitters. It's just a diamond bit. It's a little round bit. 
Yeah, no pain. Doesn't hurt. We're good. Ow, that hurt. No, I'm kidding. Get out of here. <laughs> We need to leave. Oh, wait. You guys should have seen her face. That was so funny. It's the conversion. This is the first time me trying these. The conversion to put the gems on. Yeah, this is the first time me trying to use the conversion to put the gems on. We'll so see how that works. We'll see how it stays. But if I use the builder gel, it actually stays better. So. As far as you know. It does. <laughs> well, you don't know if it stays better with this yet. Oh, don't well, wait. I mean, I know that the. the oh, it works better than the glue. Okay, nuke it. Okay, so now I'm just going back in with the conversion base and I'm putting it in spots where I'm going to put the gold flakes. And the cool thing about the gold flakes is they break up. So when you put them down, you can actually crumble them or you can crumble them ahead of time if you wanted to. Uh, but I started doing bigger flakes and then I would break it up with my dotting tool. Um, that way I could spread it more, spread it around and move it. And it's great. It's awesome stuff. Now I'm just going in with the Koopa shiny top coat and I'm going to be coating all fingers and this is actually a really really good top coat if you guys are looking for a good top coat that lasts and is shiny and is really sturdy this is the one. It was a very exciting and very fun to do and mess with, though I'm kind of iffy about it. Like, I'm not 100% confident in dip powder yet. Like, I haven't did designs with dip powder like that very much. So it was just like an experiment and it actually turned out really great. It looked wonderful. I just want to apologize for the angle of the camera. We're still trying to figure out like, how to do that like angle nicely. I have not a very great tripod. I call it my alien leg tripod because it looks like alien legs. I'm just saying. I hope you guys feel filled. <laughs> I hope you guys felt really inspired. Um, if you guys have any nail ideas, drop them in the comment box below and it doesn't even matter what it is. Just give me some nail ideas, designs. Also, everything I have used or did use I, yeah, everything I've used, I dropped it in the nail box below. So if you guys see something or saw something that you guys really wanted to check out or buy or whatever, it's in the description or nail box as I'm going to call it. Um, I hope you guys have a really great day. Stay happy and keep it spicy. See you later, alligator.